what if two little words and one question that I think we can all relate to what if everything fails what if it doesn't work out what if I get fired what if I am embarrassed what if it doesn't work out those were definitely the questions that ruled my life for a long time I don't know when it happened I think at some point after kids I began to ride the anxiety train um, by asking these what if questions like what if someone gets hurt what if my husband loses his job what if what if none of it works out (laughs) and those anxious thoughts I think we can all relate to because at one point or another in our life we ask them or at one point or another in our life they run our life maybe you're in a point right now where those questions are ruling over you and you feel like you you know live in an anxious state like I did for a long time but there's one thing an epiphany I had maybe three maybe five years ago it's been a while and do I still have anxious thoughts do I still have anxious what if thoughts absolutely (laughs) I still do but I no longer allow myself to fall down the rabbit hole of the anxious thought train and what I started asking myself is what if it all works out I'm just going to let that land for a moment. What if it all works out? (laughs) I know it, it feels so simple now, but for the longest time, I would be focusing on what if it doesn't work out? The momentum was going so strong in the other direction. I never... It never occurred to me, and I I swear, I think I just saw this like on TikTok or something of a creator, and I can't remember, so I'm so sorry if I'm taking credit for something that doesn't belong to me, but all of a sudden, I started asking myself the question, what if it does work out? (laughs) What if everything works out? What if everything happens and changes quickly for the better? I was so in the mode of asking myself, what if it doesn't work out and what if everything changes and everything crumbles and everything, nothing works out and we all die. I was so wrapped up in that, that I couldn't figure out the most simple question is the opposite of that. What if it all works out? What if everything changes quickly for the better? What if you get that house? All of a sudden, everything's changing. You got a new job. Just like that, everything changes quickly. You got a new house. Just like that, everything just changed so quickly. And I don't know. It's a small, it's a small switch. It's a small phrase change. But it's a important reminder that the stories that we tell ourselves are very powerful. The stories we tell ourselves determines whether we have a good day or a bad one. They determine whether we have a successful life or an unsuccessful life to a certain extent. But realizing I could ask myself what if it all worked out really benefited my life. And I hope it helps you too. And that brings me to today, moving day. We are moving our family from a two-bedroom apartment to a three-bedroom a home or condo and I couldn't be more excited and I think the most exciting part about this is that it feels like everything happened so quickly it's like all I, I mean I know I've been saying I mean I, I've been telling myself ever since we moved down to SoCal um, and we moved into a smaller home and you know we have two kids and so it's like a little bit more cramped being in a two-bedroom I always said like okay well at some point you know, I, I'm going to want to have a third bedroom. I want both of my kids to have their own space and their own room. And I just kept saying like it was going to happen like this summer for the longest time. I don't know why, but that that's exactly what happened. And in an instant, everything just changed. <laughs> um, I wasn't really, I hadn't really been looking for places to live. I was just kind of saying in my head over and over again, hey, this, like in my, in my head, this was the plan. This is how it was going to happen. And I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I also had this belief that, you know, like everything cha- can change super fast. And at one point, those thoughts would be anxious thoughts of, 
everything could everything could change in an instant and everything would be gone and and blah 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 but then I have split the script for the last you know three to five years of everything could change super fast you just never know how good life can get right and so I was sitting one morning and I had this impulse and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna check I'm gonna see if there's anything available in our price range and boom just like that something opened up in our price range where we already live in the school dis- like everything which was crazy because like we found a really good price for where we live um it's really hard to find housing for for that price in our area for a three bedroom two bath etc and so i was just so excited i was like you know what if this is meant to be it's going to be easy it's going to all work out seamlessly and it did it worked out exactly how I thought it was going to, or how I kept telling myself. And I just kept, I, I, I didn't want to get like my hopes up per se, but I just kept saying like, if it's meant for us, it's going to be really easy. And when I tell you that's exactly what happened, it was seamless. It popped up. It was in our price range. The landlords were really nice. Um, they, they liked us immediately. So even though there was a ton of comp- competition for the, the place that we wanted to stay in or that we wanted to rent the landlords really vibed with us and we were their first pick for the tenants and so everything changed super fast and that's not to say that there weren't moments of anxiety and moments of me being a little bit anxious to move because when we change something in our life that's big we face you know some fears and uncertainties But the difference between now and five years ago is I don't let it take over my entire life. I hope this video has helped you or related with you in some way. And I'm really excited to get settled down into our new house. We've been working on it um, and things are going to slow down as far as painting and production for me until I get my studio space up and running. So... I'm just going to be pausing on that temporarily, but before I know it, I'll be back and painting and hopefully finishing the series that I started in my old uh, apartment sooner than later because I am still really excited about the series and how I want it to all pull together. Thank you guys so much for watching and engaging in some thoughtful and kind conversation in the comments section below. I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, yeah, bye for now.